Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to execute trades using the order ticket with TradingView platform. Now, the order ticket, in my opinion, is probably the easiest and most simplest way to place trades using TradingView. We've already created a couple other ideas on the TradingView website on how to execute trades directly off the chart, also known as chart trading, and also how to execute trades off the dome, also known as depth of market. The order ticket, I find is probably the most straightforward approach as far as the three different ways that you can place trades using TradingView. So let's get right into it. So right now we're currently looking at the September micro E-mini S&P 500. We just actually rolled over from the June contract last Thursday. So now we're looking at the September expiry. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is open the trade ticket by clicking the trade button here at the bottom in our trade panel. Once you do this, this automatically defaults to the order ticket. You'll notice to the right, there's the dome tab as well, which will give you access to the dome. But for now, we're going to be focusing on the order ticket. The first thing you want to make sure is make sure you have the proper instrument that you want to trade displayed in your order ticket. So you can see here, MESU 2024. That's exactly the September micro S&P 500. You'll notice here also there's a settings button. You can undock the ticket as well. So it's not an integrated window into your workspace. So for example, if let's say you have a multi-monitor display and you want to move the order ticket to a different screen, then you're going to want to undock it. Once you undock it, it'll be a floating window, and now you can just simply move it onto a different monitor screen if you have a multi-monitor setup. If you want to reattach it into your, into your workspace as it was in, in the default state, you want to go back into settings and click dock to the right. You also have different options as well. For example, you have show order price and ticks. Uh, stop loss enables quantity and risk. You also have show take profit stop loss inputs in USD, show take profit stop loss inputs in percentage. So for example, if you're using any take profit or stop loss OCO bracket to attach to your entry order when using the order ticket, you have multiple ways to set the parameters for your take profit and stop loss. You have ticks, you have price, you have dollar value and percentage. But let's say, for example, you're only interested in just using ticks. You can also disable some of those options. For example, let's say you don't want to show the inputs in percentage. You don't want to show the inputs in the US dollar value. You can see now it's just based on ticks and price only. All personal preference. The main thing is understanding where to go to access these options. It's the settings button here on the top right corner. Of course, when you close out this window, this just basically closes out the order ticket. You can click trade to get right back to it. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is it's going to display the bid and the offer price, the current best bid, current best offer, as well as the spread between the best bid and offer. So right now, we're currently 55, 51 and a quarter bid, and the offer price is 51, uh, 55, 51.75. You can see there's a quarter spread between the bid and the offer. Then you have the different order types that you can select right below it. So you have market, you have limit, stop, and stop limit. So of course, you're going to select whatever specific order type that you want to place. And always pay attention to this big button here at the bottom. This is your final confirmation when placing the order before you, you want it. You really want to go over those details and make sure that everything that's displayed on this particular button is correct before you actually hit the button. Because once you hit that button, that order is going through. So for example, you can see here, this is a sell ticket. If I go to buy, you can see now it's blue instead of red. It also says buy, so pretty obvious. It also says market order. Notice that when I select market as the, as the order type, the price value goes away. If I go to limit, you can see now it reappears because now you're specifying a specific price that you want to get into. Stop, same thing. Of course, it's a stop order instead of a limit order. Then you also have stop limit. All right, so let's use a basic example. Let's place a simple buy limit. So we're going to select buy ticket. We're going to select limit as the order type. Right now, the price is 55 51, it's kind of bouncing around. So 51 by 51 and a quarter. Let's just go ahead and place a buy limit at say 49. So I can either type in the value or I can just scroll down to look for the value and select it. Then you can select your units, also known as lots or contracts, how many contracts you want to buy. In this example of buy or sell, of course, if you're doing a sell transaction, you can either just type in the value or you can hit this little calculator and use the plus and minus or just hit the hotkeys as well, whatever is easier for yourself. And then you have the ability to attach a take profit and stop loss, which is optional. We'll go ahead and use the examples of using ticks. So we want an eight tick take profit, eight tick stop loss. Now, whenever you adjust the values, whatever field that you're adjusting, you'll see that some of these values will also adjust depending on what you're doing. So for example, if I change this to 10, notice now everything's adjusting based on a 10 tick take profit versus eight that we had prior. All right, so this gives you visual confirmation letting you know that if we're going to get filled on a buy order for a long position at 55.49, our take profit is going to be at 55.51, our stop loss is going to be at 55.47, and that's exactly correct because we have 8 and 8 for the ticks. It's 8 ticks from the actual entry price. Now we're going to make sure everything's correct. One thing I want to point out as well, you also have time and force option. Most of our traders here at AMP Futures are, I would say the majority of them are day traders, so typically almost most of the time, 
day orders will be used. Typically what day order is, if the order isn't filled by the time the market closes, that order becomes unable, it automatically gets canceled out. But you do have different options as well, such as good till cancel, good till date, and more. All right, so now we're gonna read this. Buy one micro S&P 500 contract, September of 2024, at a price of 55.49 on a limit. And that looks correct. So we're gonna hit the buy button. Let's go to our trade panel and just make sure everything's correct. All right, you can see there's our buy limit at 55.49, and there's our take profit and our stop loss as well. All right, so basic example, placing a buy limit order with a bracket attached. Let's now use a different order type. For example, let's do sell and let's do stop. All right, so instead of using a buy limit, we're gonna use an example of sell stop this time. So we have a sell transaction. You can see it's red, it says sell, stop. You can see it actually says STP. Now we're gonna actually select the price that we wanna place a stop order at. So we could use the same example. Let's just do 55.49 once again. And this time we're not gonna we're not gonna opt in to choose a take profit stop loss. We'll just essentially leave it as a naked position. So once we get into our short position, we will not have a take profit and stop loss. So again, we're gonna look here to, to, to make sure everything's correct. We're selling one contract in the micro S&P 500 at 55.49 on a stop. That's correct. And now you can see in our orders confirmation here that you can actually visually see the order working. All right. And then last example is just showing what a position looks like. So it's pretty much the market order is pretty straightforward. Let's just adjust this to two contracts instead. And this time we'll actually attach a take profit and stop loss. We'll keep it at eight and eight, keep it simple. Again, sell. This time you can see there's a value of two. Micro S&P 5 contracts at the market order. All right, so we're going to click the sell button. And now you can see that our position is short. Looks like we got short as a market order. So we got short at uh, 55, 51 and a quarter. So that means our take profit, remember we had an eight tick take profit, eight tick stop loss. So our take profit is at 55.49 and a quarter. That's our buy limit. And there's our buy stop at 55.53 and a quarter, which is exactly eight ticks from the average price where we got filled at. I'm going to close out the position. And now we're flat and we no longer have any working orders. And this is how you execute trades using the order ticket with TradingView.